Hello everybody and welcome to this video on to mask or not to mask. I'm Dr. Scott Berger from Dr. Luke on Call and this is a question that I've had so often. Um, do we wear masks? Should our children wear masks when they go back to school? Is it safe to wear a mask? Is it really going to make a difference to wear a mask? There's so many questions and I think the important thing is that there's not only just one answer. We do have to consider quite a few things when we talk about masks and the situation that you find yourself in definitely makes a difference. What I want to discuss with you is two very interesting studies, especially the first one. What they did is they took a laser light and they asked someone to talk at different volumes and they filmed how the little particles spread when you talk. Then they put a face cloth in front of the person's mouth and they asked them to speak again and there's quite an incredible difference. And that really explains why it's important to protect people around you um, and, and wear a mask so that the droplets spread don't get to them. Okay, so let's have a look at the study and the video. It was published in the New England Journal of Medicine and you can see the topic is visualizing speech generated oral fluid droplets with laser light scattering. Okay, let's go straight to the video because it's really interesting. You'll see the first ones is without a mask. Now I'm recording. Stay healthy. Great. Stay healthy. Great. Less loud. Stay healthy. Good. Now it's going to be with the face cloth. Are you recording? Yeah. Stay healthy. Louder. Stay healthy. Louder. Stay healthy. Nothing. So that's quite a big difference and I think that's the important thing. If you look at the um, article here, they were talking about small, very small little particles. We found that when the person said stay healthy, numerous droplets ranging from 20 to 500 micrometers were generated. Now that's really tiny. And those are the ones that we want to protect people from because they will be staying in the air when you have a conversation. And definitely when you sneeze or cough, it will propel those little particles much quicker towards the other person and you might infect them. So that's why we wear a cloth mask to protect other people. If you look at the next study that I found, it's, it was published in the Lancet on the 1st of June. And you can see there, we aimed to investigate the effects of physical distance, face masks, and eye protection on virus transmission in healthcare and non-healthcare settings. If you look at the findings, our research identified 172 observational studies across 16 countries and six continents. And they found transmission of viruses was lower with physical distancing of one meter or more, compared with a distance of less than one meter. And here are the numbers, minus 10.2% were the results. Also, face mask use could result in a large reduction in risk of infection. If you look at the numbers there, minus 14.3%, which is Quite, you know, quite a high number. And then eye protection also was associated with less infection. You look at the numbers there, minus 10.6%. So that's incredible to see that they've actually definitely proved over uh, all these countries that it does make a difference to wear a mask. I want to quickly talk to you about the different masks and let's show you the different masks that um, we wear and why you know, it's not necessary to wear N95 masks um, if you generally in public. Firstly, the normal face cloth mask. As you all know, just put it on your face, look around your ears, make sure your nose and your mouth's covered. Try not to touch the mask on the front or on the inside when you take it off. And when you do cough and when you do sneeze, it's gonna protect the other people. You do have a lot of air coming into the sides, so it doesn't prevent you from inhaling other stuff. Also, when you remove it, re remove it with the bands and don't actually touch the mask. Then we get the normal hospital surgical mask. The difference is it's enforced there, so it's got a little 
aluminum plate there that you can form around your nose. This is a lot easier to wear for someone that wears glasses for reading. Um, if you wear glasses for reading and you put the mask in there, they don't fog up so much and it's much easier to, to work with them than with the cloth masks. Then you get the N95 masks and there are different types of ones. These are a specific one that we use in theaters and hospital. Um, they're very, very tight. I'm not gonna put that on at the moment, but I'll just show you. Um, it really comes around your mouth quite tight. You can hear my voice really changes. It completely, almost completely seals and you've got to literally breathe through the mask, which makes it quite uncomfortable, especially for longer periods of time. And then the face shields for eye protection um, is also important to wear in situations, especially in hospitals. Um, in the schools, they are giving the children the options in class time to actually wear the face shields and not the masks because wearing a mask for a long time could become quite uncomfortable for the, the children. And that brings me to the question, are they actually dangerous to wear a mask too long? In fact, you do find that wearing a mask and not removing it at all does create a layer of particles on the inside of the mask where you breathe onto. Remember, we were actually supposed to be able to breathe out completely. And if we cover that area all the time with the mask, we do collect particles there that are supposed to go out and you can inhale that again. So it's not ideal to wear a mask for extended periods of time. Also, when you exercise, to exercise with a very tight fitting mask, like an N95 mask, is definitely not a good idea. It's very difficult to breathe through it and get enough oxygen when you wear an N95 mask. And there's no real reason for you to, be, to wear an N95 mask if you're not in a hospital or a healthcare worker setting. So I wouldn't recommend wearing an N95 mask while um, running or cycling or, or walking. A, a cloth mask or even a buff is perfectly fine to wear. When you do have a situation where you have to wear masks quite a lot through the day, make sure you can actually get outside a bit in open air. If there's no people around you, or if there's a little bit of an open area, you can remove the mask by not touching it on the inside, but touching it on the strings so that you can get some fresh air and that the mask can be clean. Remember to wash the cloth masks on a daily basis, or at least rinse them so that they don't get contaminated over a long period of time. So that was a whole mouthful of all the mask information. Um, it's quite uncomfortable for us. It's not something that we used to, and now we gotta wear these masks all the time, but surely this will pass and um, we would have definitely learned things from it. So keep on doing the right thing, reduce other people's risks, keep our hospitals so that they can deal with the numbers in ICUs and in high care because it's definitely um, getting difficult for the doctors um, to cope with, with all the numbers. Be responsible, do the right thing, and remember, stay healthy.